Hi, it's V from Crafting Daily Dose, and today I have a gift card holder made from 12 by 12 designer series paper. You're actually going to be able to get three of these from one sheet. You can cut and score all three of them at one time to make things go even more quickly. There's a belly band. It opens like this, like a little envelope. There's a place for your gift card, and you can add a place to write a message. Now, obviously, there's lots of opportunities to step this up and make it more elaborate if you would like, but if you want something quick, you can just keep it really simple. Now, this project was inspired by Crystal Roberts from Red Hot Stampers, and I'll have a link to her video in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting out with a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper, and in this case, I'm using the Ever Eden design. Now, on this particular piece, we've got foliage on one side and an ombre pattern on the other. This side is not really directional because um, there are leaves that are pointing both up and down at the same time, but on the other side, I'd really like to use it so that the lighter, soft succulent color is towards the top, moving down to the darker evening evergreen shades. So if you're also using a paper that has a directional side, you'll want to remember to keep the directional design on the inside of the gift card holder, and the non-directional one can be on the outside. As we move to cut and score this piece, I'm going to keep this side facing up so that it's easier for you to keep track of the top and the bottom. If you would like to have a place to write your message inside of the gift card holder, you can use a piece of coordinating cardstock. In this case, I'm using basic white, and you'll want one of these for each gift card holder. Each one is going to be three and a half inches across by two and three eighths of an inch in height. Another optional thing is to use a die or a punch to help create the opening that holds the gift card. In my case, I'm going to be using one of the label dies from the Stitch So Sweetly die set. So starting with my 12 by 12 designer series paper, remember I want to use the lighter shades at the top and the darker shades down at the bottom. So this is the direction that my piece is going to be. I want to trim the height down to just nine inches. So I'm gonna cut off three inches. I've decided that I would rather cut it off from the lighter portions. So I'm going to turn my paper this way. I'll put it at three inches. And then I'll go ahead and use my darker blade here for cutting. I'm going to use that to trim it off. The section that I've trimmed off is going to be used for the belly band. So I'm going to cut the width down to six and a half inches. So it's this large tick mark that's right after the separation here. Six and a half inches. And I'm going to trim this down to three one inch strips. So I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to be using the measurements here on the right. So these pieces here are going to form my belly band, and I'm actually going to make a vertical belly band like this. For each one, I'm going to do a little bit of scoring. I'm going to place it so that the long side is along the top, and I'm going to score at one and a half inches, moving my darker cutting blade out of the way and using the lighter blade for scoring. So score at one and a half inches, and then at four and a half inches. The 
This is going to get folded down like so to create the belly band. And remember, you're going to want to do that for each piece. I can use the other leftover piece along with a smaller label die from that same Stitch So Sweetly die set. And I'm going to use that to cut out some pieces to decorate the front of the belly band. Let's go back to that main piece. Right now it's 12 inches across by nine inches in height and we are going to be making some score lines in the horizontal direction like this. Now remember if your paper is directional, go ahead and start out with it oriented so that it's wider than it is tall. Your top is at the top and the bottom is at the bottom. Now we're going to turn it clockwise so now you can see that my shorter side is along the top. What's going to be the bottom of my gift card holder is now oriented to the left and the top is over here on this side. So we're going to start out at two inches. So with the bottom of the page oriented towards the left, we're scoring at two inches. Now we're going to move to three and one quarter. Next is four and a half. And then finally seven and one quarter. Now when I turn it back, you can see that we've made several horizontal score lines. And now we're going to split this into three pieces. It's more efficient to do your scoring first so that everything is taken care of at one time. We're going to cut at four inches now. So that's my scoring blade out of the way. And I'm gonna be cutting. And then once more at four inches. So now we have our three gift card holders ready to go, already scored. So here's one of those pieces. Starting with that bottom score line, this is going to be a valley fold. So you fold that towards you. The next one is a mountain fold. Then a valley fold. And then one more valley fold. I'm going to reinforce all of those with my bone folder so that I have a crisp fold. So you can already see how this is going to come together. And there's this little part here. This is going to be what holds the gift card. So we need to seal these two so that these sides come together. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. You'll see that there's one, two, three, four, five panels. So counting from the bottom, we're going to be putting some adhesive along the bottom of the second panel. I'm going to use tear and tape because it will be nice and even and easy to control, but you could also use your stamp and seal here or glue. So I just want to show you the close up of where I put that adhesive. It's right next to the crease and it's on the bottom of the second panel. Once I peel off my backing, I'm just going to fold this back over itself. 
so that those two panels can come together. So now on the inside, you can see how this is going to open. And then you've got this little pop-up part right here. And this is where the gift card is going to go. Now, if you wanted to, you can just use your snips to cut a slit here along the top. You can also use any sort of a punch or die that's going to give you a little bit of a divot for a more finished look. In my case, again, I'm going to use this label die and I'm only going to use the rounded edge from it. So I'm going to place it like this. Just doing my best to eyeball where it's centered there. And notice that only this little bottom part is going to cut. I'm not going to try to cut off from the sides here. I'm just holding that down with a little bit of washi tape and then I will go ahead and die cut that out. So you can see that that is all that has been cut out from my card. Now I'm going to go in with my snips and enlarge this opening. So I'm taking the point of my scissors and finding that space in between these two panels like that. And then I'm going to cut towards the edge, leaving maybe just a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Turn it around and do the other side as well. I have a gift card that I'm going to put in there just to test to make sure that it fits. Okay, that fits very nicely. If it's a little bit tight, then you can go ahead and bring the zips back in and make that hole just a little bit larger. If you wanna keep this project super quick, just let that beautiful designer series paper speak for itself. But if you have a little bit more time, you can add some details with a little bit of stamping. Here I'm stamping images from the Eden's Garden stamp set using Evening Evergreen ink. And now we're just going to assemble. For the belly band, I want the top piece to overlap the bottom piece so that the seam is kind of here in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a very thin line of glue along the edge of my top piece. And then another very thin line along the edge of my bottom piece. and then bring them together. I'm going to press it. And I'm going to let it set with it kind of open like this so that if any glue accidentally squishes out underneath here, it's not going to cause the two sides to um, stick together. And there you have it, a gift card holder from 12 by 12 designer series paper. You slip off the belly band, there's your gift card, there's your message. 
Now, obviously you can have lots of ways to step this up, add even more decoration. You can add all kinds of embellishments to the belly band if you'd like, or you can just keep it quick and simple. I hope that you've enjoyed this dose of creativity. If you get a chance to try out the project for yourself, I would love to hear about it. I'm looking forward to making another project with you next time, and until then, have a great day.